go. This is a C-54, it's using the rear truck tire and wheel. This is just a sweeping view of the whole airplane. This is a T-29, got a stand wrapped around it, getting ready to work on the engine. This is underneath the engine where other guys working on the fuselage. This is an inspection, a hundred hour inspection that they do on it every hundred hours. It has another inspection in between where the GIs do that. It's a 25 hour. And this is starting the airplane. He's cranking it over. And this is where I take over. No way with this is Stafford running this airplane. Now both mix mixers in, got both engines running good. He's looking back at me and I'm taking the picture. We run the airplane, checking everything out on the instruments, making sure everything's properly run. And then they're going up to field paramedic and checking the mag. Left and right mag, both engines. Stafford's keeping the RPM correct. <clears throat> Usually get 25. RPM drop on each mag. And then from here they're fixing something on the flap that's gone something loose. Aileron does it there. Wait a minute, that's a flap, yeah. And this is me doing my run up. I'm checking the hydraulic bypass every time. This is the C54. And then we're towing it out to another parking area. At the Coleman, you see both rear and front wheel wheels for towing airplanes. That's nice. We're starting another airplane running it up. That's Jimenez, my partner. Get all four engines going. We run these engines uh, after we clean them, I'll open them up, clean the engine, and then fire them up and run them to check the leak oil leak, fuel leak. And there we go. This is a T29 engine. We're going over it. I'm instructing a guy on how to fix something. I forgot what the heck it was. But that was my job. Teach these young troopers on how to fix these engines. And I, I was probably saying something to the guy who was taking the picture. <laughs> Knows I patted him on the rear end. Then he's doing a good job. You didn't see that, huh? Julie? I saw it. What's this all about? This is a, one of our airplanes. Uh, no, this is a broken arrow. The, the 52s were over on the other side of the base there. 
and they had a broken arrow. Before they uh, emerged and take off, they got a, a warning that they had to bomb a target somewhere in Russia. And they they all jump on to get about halfway, then they, they shut it down. It's a practice run. So they did, at the time, they don't know it's a practice run. Huh. When they hot a broken arrow, I mean, they got a merge, they got a target. So they, they time them how fast they get on board and how much quick they move out. Here's me putting the cowling on the bottom cowling. We got cam latches on there. The lower cam locks it over. And it's got a little button to turn on top to keep it from coming loose. It's all in clam cowling. Those are like a clam. Mm. This one here, I think we got to take it out for a, a compass swing. So we have to taxi it out on the other side of the runway. And then we come back, we make a reverse prop run. Make sure the reverse prop goes in all properly. That's where we're coming back. I wasn't taking the picture that I was here. I was taxing the airplane. At the top of the cup holder, as you see, and then the other one's a compass. Huh. We were taxing along behind the airplane, coming up to a hard spot to pull in. There we are. That's where we park our. Grease spot. <laughs> 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 well, once a month we had to go and clean those spots up. We were looking over a wash rack. That's our wash rack over there. Here we're towing an airplane back to park. That's Willie. Oh boy, he works there. This is Tappy. And I don't remember the name of the guy right there. This is inside. It's a it's a flying school. It's a uh, piece of navigation. Each one's got their own table and radar and all. Keep track of where the airplane is and fly it. This is the bomb rack in the back here. Try to make simulated uh, bomb runs. The same rack they got in the B 52. So they learn all about it here. I think it's uh, the top of the number two engine running. Somebody took a picture of it out the window. I think that's the end of it. That's